you can see by the title of this video, I'm going to be giving you an in-depth look into my MAC Pro Palettes. Um, this isn't me showing off, I have been collecting my MAC eyeshadows for around two years now. All of these have been bought with my own money or have been gifts from fa uh, family or friends. Um, and yeah, everybody likes to have a little sneaky peek inside these when I get them out. So uh, I'm going to give you guys the same opportunity. Uh, what I've got is I've got one palette with more bright shades in. As you can probably tell, I do, I'm not scared of a bit of colour. I like to have a little bit of diversity in my palettes. And then I have one which is more neutrals, which contains like my brow shades and stuff. Um, right, so let's start with the neutral. So here we have the shade Black Break. Underneath that we have Malt. And then this one is the shade Ho. I love this one. It's such a lovely neutral colour for, um, you know, when you want that nice transition shade when you're doing, um, what's it called, smoky eyes. See there, it's just very, very neutral, but still got a bit of colour to it. Next, we've got one of my personal favourites, Texture, which is a satin finish. It's a terracotta colour and it has a slight, slight, slight shimmer through it, which to be honest you can't see but it is there. Um, below that we've got one that every girl who has one of these, girl or guy has, uh, and that's Carbon. Carbon is a charcoal matte black colour. It doesn't give off too much pigment but it is a really, really good addition to anybody's uh, matte pro palette. Uh, below that we've got Embark, which is a red, no, not red, a purple tone Teddy! Hang on guys. <sighs> which is a purple tone brown, which is really good again for smoky eyes. And uh, let's go back to the top. We've got a neutral shade um, called Bamboo. Under that we've got my brow colour and probably one of my favourite all-time MAC eyeshadow Swiss chocolate. And then under that we have the legendary Antiqued. This is a very shimmery red brown shade. Swatch that for you. It's almost bronze but more ready. See that? I think it's very pretty. It looks gorgeous just buff all over the eye. But for this one we've got the shade Gorgeous Gold which is a slightly iridescent gold shade. Below that, we've got Retrospect, which is a very, very big in the MAC world. Everybody loves this. It's great for all over lid color and inner corner highlighting. Underneath that, we've got the shade Woodwinked. Again, brilliant shade, really nice for just all over the lid um, or to mix into a smoky eye. Um, this one, I think it's called moon something it's from a limited edition you know the um the collection that was like a neo collection it had bright orange packaging it's like a spacey sort of theme it's from that so unfortunately you can't get it anymore but i depotted by so it was a great addition to this palette below that is another one of my faves that's rice paper which is really good for um just simple highlighting. You can also use it on your cheekbones, um, which looks beautiful for a very natural look. And then below here, we've got Amber Lights, which isn't gonna focus. We've got Amber Lights. Amber Lights is a true orangey, bronzy shade. Not everyone can get away with it, but you know me, I ain't scared of a bit of a, a, bit of a challenge. Right, so that's my neutral palette done. Now on to probably my favourite one. Right, so now on to the brights. I'm going to start at this end. There isn't much order in this palette, but some. We've got the shade which you can probably still haven't touched much. It's called Plumage. It's an absolutely stunning mix between like a, like a teeny bluey green. It's very strange. Then we've got Milo, which is a matte white. And then we've got Sunny Spot, which is like a sort of a yellowy chartreuse colour. Very, very pretty. Payoff isn't amazing, but used with a good primer, you can really get a nice shade on that. Very Nicki Minaj. Um, right, at the top here, we've got, I can't remember the colour. Let me have a look. It's 
the deeper tilt. Tilt is a frosty blue um, with a slight greeny iridescent running through it. Then we've got, can't remember the colour. Oh, blue. I'm going to take it out. Blue. This one is electric eel. This is like a bright blue. And then we've got, oh my god, this is so embarrassing. Atlantic blue. Atlantic blue is a true royal blue. Right, now let's go for this one. This one is one of my faves. This is fig. This is a matte purple. Then we've got shadowy, no, sketch. Sketch. This one has got sketch. It's a uh, dark purple, and then we've got an even darker purple, which is almost black. That shadowy lady. Moving to here, we've got the very famous cranberry, which is a metallic sort of red shade. Above that, another favourite, red brick. Not for the faint and hearted, this one, but still absolutely beautiful. Above that, another favourite, and that is a uh, rule, which I'm gonna swatch that for you. It's a very, very orangey shade, but it's just stunning. Look, look at the colour payoff on that. Do you normally get good colour payoff on oranges? I really struggle to find a good orange. At the top, great, 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 amazing shade, Stars and Rockets. Stars and Rockets is a purple, blue, sort of iridescent colour. Very, very lilac -y, very frosty, very shimmery, absolutely stunning shade. Below that, we've got uh, chrome yellow. Chrome yellow, again, reminds me of Nicki Minaj. I love it. Yellows and pinks are just Nicki Minaj for me. So yeah, chrome yellow for those moments where I just want a little bit of colour. And then last but not least is the shade Contrast. Contrast is a lot like Cranberry and Stars and Rockets. It is a metallic, frosty blue though this one is. Navy, I'll swatch it for you with a, maybe a clean finger. Very dark. but it has a really, really pretty finish to it. You could just buff this all over the eye. I like to buff this all over the eye, it's here at the end, um, with Swiss chocolate, which is, is my eyebrow colour. So as you can see, it's got a tiny bit of shimmer to it, but not too much. So yeah, guys, these are my matte palettes. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you've got any suggestions for me for my next palette, which there will be a next one because I can't stop at two. I think four will probably be our stop at, but two, I'm halfway there. Got any suggestions for me? Pop them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, as always, give it a big thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you want to see more from me. I hope you're well and I will speak to you soon. Take care, guys.